up toy lovers all right todd here today i picked up so i've been trying to hold off on the um vulture from the spider-man homecoming legends line uh retail price on him is around 42 dollars and i know it's a deluxe figure i mean deluxe figures were what 30 33 ish somewhere in there now they're jumping up to 42 dollars i'm not sure if it's because of his uh uh, glider which is pretty big from the pictures I've seen and whatnot and I was at you know I've been seeing him at Target and I'm just like oh, I gotta wait well I run into this little secondhand shop and they got him for 30 bucks so 29.39 and I'm like hey that's like 12 bucks off right there I'll pick it up 30 bucks for deluxe figure I'm cool I'll pick it up didn't want to pass that up because, you know, if these drop, even like at Target, if they drop them 50%, you know, you and everybody else are going to go in there and clean them out. Use them as customs for Hawk, for the G.I. Joe classified series and troop build it, you know, whatever. I'd do it too. If I see them, if I'm in Target and I do see any for 50% off, you know I'm picking up more. But it's just hard to do it because there's so many of us running around now. I think COVID put more guys into the collectors. <laughs> It's just crazy, and I never had this many problems picking up stuff. That's why I don't really toy hunt much anymore. So kind of did a little bit of toy hunting today, and checked out this little shop. Sorry, I guess I could show the box before I open it. But the back we got, uh, looks like it's just a picture of the figure. Here he is. So this thing's huge. I've seen pictures of it, and I'm, I was assuming that's why it had the $42 price point. Um... Because of that, because you know we got a $22 figure in here, so. What, uh, here's our insert, Spider-Man. Kind of a web design with Spidey, Spidey's face. Sometimes I keep these inserts, you know, you can use them later for doing dios or <coughs> cool it's a backdrop background so we got a double clamshell take the main one off and all the wing pieces fall off so it's in pieces i don't know if there are instructions no nope. so hopefully it's pretty easy to put together Hopefully it dumbed it down for me. <laughs> oh, there's another little clamshell, so we're loaded. Maybe that's why the extra price, there's three clamshells. So we got a stand, and then he's got, looks like a mask piece. And I think these are forearm pieces, and then the controller pieces. Ah, so we got all that. So, comes with a ton of accessories. He's got these uh, pieces going his elbow, forearm. He's got a clear shield piece. And then he's got his two handheld controllers for the flight. got his claw boot on so he should have no problem standing and then I'm always complaining about how we're not giving us any st figure stands so sometimes they don't need them not too bad sculpting got the boots he's got the metal pieces the exoskeleton, I guess you could call it. Um, it's 
about it for the shoulders. It's got this cool, pretty, pretty detailed um, head sculpt. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see it with the helmet. There is quite a bit of detail in there. So, got the hose. Goes under the cowl. Is it going under the cowl? No, it's plugged into the back of the helmet, it looks like. So, I don't know how much articulation we're going to have in this head. He can go side to side a little bit. Doesn't look like it can go up at all. I mean, yeah, it's not going up, so he can just look forward. And it doesn't really go down too far, just a little bit, so not a ton of articulation in his head. Yeah. Well, it does go down. Maybe it was just tight. So he can look all the way down. Just must have been a little tight, yeah. And we've got the total swivel with the arms. Should have double, we have double jointed elbows. And they don't go, they're not super flexible. Like I just did a black series that clone pilot hawk and his were more flexible his uh elbows that's about it for him he's got the chest swivel or the rocker and then the waist turn at the waist Oh my god, how can you do that? Yeah, we can't do that, sir. Armor pieces. Not too bad. Looks like we just got one set of hands. Just a regular grip, grip hand. Face shield. What we got going on? <clears throat> Not sure how this goes on. I don't know. I have to check, double check that. All right, I'm back. I didn't want you guys sitting, having me fumble with it. The, the eye, the shield there. There are two slits that are in the each either side. So there's right there, right there. Whoops. And then the shield piece, eyepiece has um, two slots to go in there. Yeah, I probably got it upside down. Yeah, you just have to line those up. It snaps in to place. So he's got the visor I guess so then the wing it's in five pieces so you got your middle piece here which has got a post to snap in or plug into his back they're on a swivel these fan blades also totally rotate around pretty good detail a really good detail on this thing <clears throat> a lot of sculpting and then your wing pieces I put this one together what you do is just plug them in Let's see if I get this oops you know plug in right here just goes in snaps into that 
maybe. So snaps in there. It's got a pivot here. And then um, these will snap into right there. It's kind of a, not super soft plastic, but it's flexible. Those things are huge. That's yeah, pretty big. And then you can do tons of posing with them, which is really cool. Do all different kinds. I mean, these will go up. So, yeah, let's fold in. So there'll be tons of different ways to oops, close those. And let's see, this guy compared. That size, gung ho. Bring in our Duke. And he's taller than Duke, and I'm assuming it's because of the what's on his feet. Those claw boots he's wearing. He stands pretty tall. It's a good sized figure. He's taller than Duke. Got spike ore. Not as big as spike ore. Now we can bring in some action force. Got him on his stand. Kiri. So I got him on the stand. And just a smidge taller. And let's see if we can get this backpack on. Plugs in. He'll stand on his own with the wings folded in. So it's pretty cool. I mean, you gotta love when you get an accessory like that. I'm sure, there's guys that are gonna want to paint these up and make some Cobra Air Troopers, right? That's what I'll do if I get some of these. Uh, on discount definitely make some uh, gliders for the Cobra forces that'd be awesome let's see looks like he'll stand with it spread out yeah with them spread out like that takes up some good space I don't think I have a tape measure but be a lot of uh, posability with this guy I mean we can see like His wings are like four figures. <laughs> Wide, it's pretty good. So, de definitely glad I picked it up. Um, Especially got a little discount on it. And, you know, if you could target as a bunch of them, you start seeing it for sale, definitely pick them up. I mean, we could make some killer, should be able to make some gliders, you know, 
maybe even uh, affix some weapons to them. Definitely uh, potential there for our Cobra infantry. But yeah, overall, I'd say pick this guy up. I know guys are making, uh, you can make your uh, <coughs> custom Hawks for your G.I. Joe classified line. Definitely the potential there. But yeah, that's our uh, Vulture for now. There we go. All right, until the next video, see you later.